Hello, NCC Church family. I just want to say thank you so much for all of your small group registrations. We're looking forward to a great season of small groups. And if you still haven't been able to get involved, we still can get you connected with a group, get you set up for a visit. Just let us know. Uh, we're really looking forward to a great season of small groups. And we want to say thank you to all of you for your participation. So today I'm in Titus chapter 3 and verse 1. And it says, Remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good. And then in verse 8, it says, This is a trustworthy saying, and I want to stress these things so that those who have trusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone. So a common phrase in these two verses is doing what is good. We started a few weeks ago talking about the four steps of growth at Norwin Christian Church. First is coming to God, then walking with the Word of Life, connecting in community, and now we want to talk about living for Jesus. And when we talk about living for Jesus, we're talking about the aspect of serving others as we're living for Jesus. And that really ties in with what's being taught in the book of Titus. So Paul was writing to Titus, and Titus had leadership over several churches on the island of Crete. And there was some teaching there that was off base, some false teaching, that was just really emphasizing that your faith is mostly in your head. And they were even giving a lot of attention to Jewish myths and other things that were not really relevant to practicing their faith. And Paul is writing to them, he's writing to Timothy, and he's saying it's very important as you're practicing your faith, as you're serving God, Part of that is you're doing good to others. And that's the same thing that we want to emphasize at Norwin Christian Church. When we talk about living for Jesus, we're saying because of what God has done for us, we want to bless others. We want to serve others. And so we actually have a great opportunity to do that this coming Saturday. We have a first responders event. And our goal is to say thank you to our first responders, to our policemen, our firefighters, EMTs, to our healthcare workers, just to say thank you, it's definitely been a difficult year and those folks have been on the front lines and they've been serving us and serving our communities and we want to say thank you. So you can still get involved, we can still use your help. You can go to norwinchristianchurch.com and go to the events page and you find the first responder event and you can submit your information and we'll be glad to get in touch with you and you can help us out on Saturday. It'll be from 12 to 6. So thank you so much for considering how you can live for Jesus be a blessing to others. Let's pray together. God, we thank you for everything that Jesus has done for us. And God, we thank you for the small ways that we can give back to others just to show them how amazing you are and how great Jesus is in our life. God, it's such a privilege and we're so honored. God, we give you thanks and we give you praise today. In Jesus' name, amen.